Hey, welcome back everyone for some more of my Parade and Moons to Career Mode on FC24. And yes, I have officially rebranded this career mode. It is no longer going to be a Youth Academy career mode, unfortunately, which I technically did the, started to rebrand the last episode, but I still introduced that as the Youth Academy career mode. But from here on out, especially, well, like I said, technically I started the last episode, but from here on out, It'll just be just a standard career mode from here on out. I have no restrictions placed upon myself. I can sign whoever I want and do whatever I want on this. Since the Youth Academy in this game as a whole is a big, massive failure in this game. So, and I do plan on spending most, if not all, of the $32 million. I I'm not sure exactly who I want to bring in. Yeah, I do have a few ideas, but we're going to take a look at the calendar. So we're going to start this episode by sending this home match against Rotter Weiss Essen. And then we're going to be playing this game against Starbrook and the team that we're familiar with doing a career mode with them on 3 for 21. And then we'll be getting our first of the uh, Comedy Central reports, and, uh, as well as the 6th and the 10th. And the 4th, we're going to be pl uh, probably simming... Actually, no, I'll be... Do I want to sim this game? Yeah, I will sim this game against Vero, and then we'll be playing this match in Munich against 1860. But before we continue on, hope you guys have an awesome day today. Hope you guys are doing well. And overall, I'm really pleased with the, how our team is developing. Though, I, as much as I like Buchama, I may look to strengthen that um, center attacking midfield spot. Even though I just signed McGrath, I might end up pushing him in a bench as well. And I'm p p uh, possibly looking at a, a new center back and possibly a new right back. Though, Shad is a officially a right back now, so I think I will keep him. But I have plenty of time. I don't even know what month it is right now. It is the 21st of October. So I got a whole couple months yet to worry about who I want to bring in or what I want to do in a transfer window. As you can see, Alexander Hahn looking exceptionally happy. He's leaving us, so best of wishes to him. But without further ado, we are going to go ahead and get into this game against Rotterdam Sessin. They are playing a counter-attacking tactical vision. Let's take a look at their kits here real quick. I actually don't mind those kits. You know, I'm going to go ahead and put that on them. Now, this is a newly promoted side alongside ourselves, Lube Lubeck and Unterhaching, but we're going to go ahead and quick send this. Let's see if we can start the episode off with a dub. Which we do. We get the 3-1 win. Batman's with a hat-trick, so he's continuing on his blistering form. Bukhari got injured, so that's a bit of a concern. Because, of course, he did. Hopefully he's not on, Hopefully, he's not gone for too long. Or else Lorenz might be getting some game time. Okay, because... Oh, he's only gone for five days. Good. Okay, Mueller needs more games. And that's funny he says that because I, for the next two games, I am going to be putting my backup squad in here. I really have not experimented with the backup team all that much, which Lorenz is already down to 65, so he has dropped by two already this season. Do I have... Yeah, I do. I need to put Bukhari on the reserves and put Grudowski in there. But we are going to sim ahead. We are going to be playing the match. On the road, again, we are going to be traveling to Sireland to take on Sirebrooken. Like I said, this is, a very, this is a team that we're familiar with doing a career mode with them on FIFA 21. Which actually took me a few years to complete because I had put the series on hiatus. And then I continued it and then I finished it by not only taking them to the top of Germany, but also had them win the Champions League and led them to European glory. So, I'm going to go ahead... Save the match, and we are going to go ahead and get into this game against Sirbrook. Uh, we do have two chat messages. Okay, Bukhari, I'm feeling much better in myself. Ready to play. Hope you can get me back in the team. Uh, I'm going to tell him he's in this place. Although, I'm going to have him reserve. I don't want to rush him. 
Just want to let you know I'm feeling good, boss. Ready to come for Uzma Bakari if you need me next game. I'm going to say, don't worry, I'll come to the right decision. But we are taking on Sarah Brooken. They've kind of become DFB Pokal specialists, though they are... I can't say they're struggling in the Drifter Liga, but they are, like, always so close to being in the promotion picture, but uh, find themselves dropping off. But we're going to go ahead, take a look at their kits. I'll put the green and black on us. And those kits are actually sharp. I'm actually have them wear the yellow here. But we are gonna go ahead, clear skies at the stadium they dare. Sheriff Chuck will be this will be his first game I'm playing with him since the suspension. Lorenz, Lorenz this is his first game I'm gonna be playing in quite a while. We'll get to see what Papadopoulos is like. We'll get to see Ruler for the first time in action. We'll get to see Coolis for the first time in action. So, should be a rather interesting and exciting game. We're going to be taking on a former World of Glory team, I should say, because in essence, that's pretty much what I did. You see, Sarah Brooken has the best defense in the Dritta Liga. Only allowing six goals in however how many matches. Uh, it's 11 matches, and then we scored the most. So, once again, it's the best offense, but it's the best defense. And it is a nighttime game. Well, no wonder why it's clear skies. But yeah, I actually have fond memories of my sub and career mode. I, I, in particular, the most memorable thing was Nicolas Gonzalez and how he started off so poorly, but yet he grew throughout the series. And he ended up becoming one of my best players, if not the best player on my sub and squad. So, yeah, Nicolas Gonzalez, in my opinion, is the hero of that career mode. Kiowa? That's not exactly a sweat. Oh, can you get the rebound? Oh. Lorenz is just too slow. And there we go. Ooh, oh, this goalkeeper is something else. Okay. Mm. Feel a little bit snake bit there. Oh, how is he dribbling? Yeah, I feel a little bit snake bit there. Goalkeepers being unreal so far for Sarbrook, and no wonder why they've conceded so few. And of course, we keep on having. No, I, I'm starting to see why they have the best defense. This goalkeeper is absolutely freaking nuts. Of course, they're going to call a foul on us. Yeah, this goalkeeper that Sarbrook has is absolutely nuts right now. Okay, there we go. Nice. And who is that? That's I think that's um, Heinrichs, if I'm not mistaken. That's his name. I need to find out who this goalkeeper is. Why does Shevchuk have the captain's armband? I, I didn't even think about that. He should not be wearing the captain's armband. Oh, Benjamins. Why do I keep thinking his name is Heinrichs? Actually, his name would be pronounced Benjamins, because you don't the J sound. I don't think exists in German. Here, there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I want to find out who the hell this goalkeeper is. I'll do that here when I'm ready to jump to the result.
Okay, you're supposed... Shevchuk, you got instructions that you were supposed to go in the box. That's offside. That's Miles offside. That's not even... Because Shevchuk doesn't know how to cross the right person. I mean, he is a youth academy graduate. He's still got much to learn, but... Okay, that's a foul. I was going to say, that wasn't a foul. That was criminal. Okay, aim the camera. Add spin and power. It, they changed penalties and free, free kicks suck in this game, much like they did in FIFA 23. I don't know why they changed. FIFA 22, in my opinion, had the best free kicks and penalties. And I think that's Kiro once again. And before I jump to the result, I gotta, I gotta see who Sarah Brooklyn's goalkeeper is. Schreiber. Tim Schreiber. That, for some reason, that name rings a bell. And why he only has a 4.7 rating, I don't know, because he was... He is Sarah Brooklyn's best player. Like, we're gonna go ahead. 4-2, Neudecker and Schmidt score for them. Gindo, Gindavain scores a fourth for us. And once again, we are unable to keep a, fle a freaking clean sheet. I don't think we've got a single clean sheet in any match so far this season. I have to look at the calendar, but I don't think we got a single one. I need to let you know I've been reading some of the stuff. Tell him I'll think about it. Chef check. I'm going to tell him I want more from him. Okay, let me go ahead. Let's see. Chef check should not be captain. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'll get it to Lawrence. Why not? Okay, where are we at in the standings? Let me see here real quick. Okay, we are... Wow! Okay, we're 12 points out of both Ingolstadt and Starbrooken. So... But I think I am going to go ahead and send this next game against Veryl. But before we do that, we're going to look at our first scouting report, which should be hilarious. Okay, let's look at this, the youth squad report, see. How long is it going to take for Silver to become 16? Okay, 54, 56, 57, 59... Not anybody that I want to promote just yet. Okay, we're going to be getting our first scouting report from the Netherlands. Um, uh, Hesse van Dijk, or should I say Jesse van Dijk, is a no. Mitch DeLave is a solid no. Stefan Janssen is a no. And Thijs Willems is a no. Can't say I'm shocked. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to sim... Ahead here, and we are going to sim this match with Veril, as Opiapua has been sold to El Dense. Okay, I, I know Osman Bukhari is fit again, boss, but I hope I've done enough to stay on the side. There's a big moment for me in my career. Um, show me your potential for sure. This next game is so important. I'll think about it. Boss, just want to say thanks. I suppose I took a chance talking to you. I'm glad you came and talked to me. But we're going to go ahead. But yeah, this... The Youth Academy system in this game is a massive failure. It really is. It really, really is. And it's a shame. Okay. Rails kits are... Bland as hell. I hate to say that, but it's true. We're going to quick sim this. Watch, we'll end up dropping points. We do. We, we we don't drop three. We do drop two, though. We do get a draw, which is better than a loss, I suppose. Okay, so I broke one, and I didn't pay attention to Ingolstadt. 
Well, at least Cerebro can gain some ground with us. They cut our lead to 10. Engelstadt is a whole 12 points behind us. But we are going to go ahead. We're going to switch back to our first team. Batman is now at a 70. Sanchez is now up to 76. Preisinger is now up to 67. And before I continue on, I do want to put Bukhari back on the match. I noticed in uh, FC24 that our players seem to be a lot more chatty. Really thought I could have made a difference. I'm going to tell him it wasn't the right opposition. He's not happy. But I have to give my second team a bit of game time or else they're going to be unhappy too. But we're going to go ahead and send to the 6. We're going to be getting our next funny report in. Okay. Benjamin Peter. You're no... Layman, half a million. Okay. You're not great, but you're not terrible. Fabio Martin is a no, and Bastian Baumgartner is a no. Okay, this isn't anything extremely promising, but I do want to check out this guy that I just signed. He is a right back, 54 rated. Can either be a right back, center back, or left back. And naturally, he's a center back, so... Which is what I'm looking for in Germany right now. So we could potentially have a lot of, of center backs. So I, I I'm gonna train him as a left back. I I I want I want another wide back. Dimitri could, looks like he's a bit promising, though his his potential isn't nearly as high as Layman's. But I just have to trust the process at this point. But we are going to go ahead and sim to this match. And before we do that, we'll be getting our third and final report in from Germany. Should be getting some skin, uh, center, yeah. center back reports, if I can speak English. Okay, scouting reports. Okay, Theodore Fisher, 775 grand. I'm going to go ahead and sign you. Jorn Kruger, you cool name, but you're a reject. Look at that, he has an overall of up to 72, but yet he only has a value of 400. I'm going to reject that just for that. Felix Becker, again, nope. Meyer, nope. Jonas Bellman, nope. And, nope. That is such a punch in the face, punch in the gut, freaking kick in the nuts. Seeing somebody has a range of overall up to 72, but yeah, only has a value of 300 grand. That is the biggest slap in the face insult I have ever seen. And people expect me not to be upset about the Youth Academy system in FC24. It's like I said before, how are you supposed to build, especially in this league, how are you supposed to do a Youth Academy career mode if this game keeps on doing that to you? It's, it's not even worth doing a career mode, a uh, youth academy career mode, uh, considering how freaking broken the youth system is. I feel like the game is just trolling at this point. And per usual, 1860 Munich have awesome uniforms. I have a feeling we're playing in the rain. Overcast. I mean, it's it's going to be dark, but we are going to go ahead and play this match. Yeah, that is such a slap in the face seeing that every single freaking time where you get a range of up to 72, but yet you only, it, it, the value is only... I mean, the only thing I can think of is that they can get up to that overall if doing a a, uh, a position change during development. But if you're already looking for a particular position that you need, why should you have to do? Why why have to get and change their position to something else in order to get that overall when you wanted them to a specific uh, position to begin with? I don't understand. I I I want someone at EA. 
to explain to me using simple English why they felt the need to tweak how the youth system works. I want someone at EA to explain to me using simple English why they felt like they needed to change something that wasn't broke. There you go. Awesome cross by Bukhari, which Bukhari's crossing has been superb. So I definitely do have to give him, he may be a bit injury prone, which I think that is one of his traits, but I mean, as long as he's delivering peaches of balls like that, I'm, I'm going to overlook that. And that's his 10th goal in the 11th matches. Yeah, the, the Youth Academy aspect of this career mode is a massive and complete catastrophic failure. How are you supposed to build a team consistent of Youth Academy when the Youth Academy... Uh, what? Guys! Oh, this is right. This is the first corner I'm taking in this game. Okay. I didn't even realize that. Wow. Okay. I cannot believe what they did with the Youth Academy system in this game. I don't. I refuse to believe it. There we go. An absolute rocket. By Batman. Who else? Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Bat mass. Oh! Okay, can you get the ball back? <laughs> Look at this guy! This guy is by far the MVP of this team. I don't care what happens throughout the remainder of this career mode, I'm keeping him. Godowski, you've got to make an effort for that. Okay, somebody get on side so I can cross it to you. It's nice to know that none of my players understand the offside rule. Batman is once again doing all the freaking work because nobody else wants to, apparently. I was going to say, don't even begin to tell me that was offside. But we're going to go ahead. We're going to jump to the result. Well, sim to end as it's called here. And once again, we are unable to keep a clean sheet. Uh, Lockenmacher ends up getting a consolation for them. Batman gets yet another goal. Which I do want to look at the stats here real quick to see where he's at in terms of goal scoring race. Because he has to be up there in the conversation. Let's see. Player stats. Let's see. Batman, he's five ahead of Hennings. He's played two less games. Players in the national duty from the 16th to the 22nd. Iversich, Shevchuk, and Sanchez. Okay. Want to plan for sure. I couldn't take any more risk until today. Godowski got 10 goals. Bachamas got 7. Most assists, Batman and Bukhari each with seven, so Bukhari in only six matches already has seven assists. That is absolutely incredible. But I think we got a little bit, I think I'm going to play one more game. Let me go ahead and save first. Yeah, I think I'm going to, I was going to end the episode there, but I kind of want to play the game against Dynamo Dresden. Or do I want to? Or do I want to uh, end the episode here? I don't know. Let me look. Okay, I didn't realize we were in November already. I, I think I am gonna play the game against Dresden, and that way, all we have left is the month of December. 
So we're going to go ahead and save. And then we're going to go ahead and sim ahead. We'll be playing this with our first team too. At home against Dynamo Dresden. And this is where our center mid, uh, Grota, will be going. I, I, I mispronounced his name. I kept on saying Grota, but it's not. It's actually Grota. Because he doesn't have the umlaut over the O. Yeah, yeah. so it'll be Grota, not Grota. Dieters have been playing pretty well lately. we got bigger games coming up. We're going to go ahead and save. And that way, the next episode will be the final one before the January transfer window. And we'll be doing our mid-season stuff as well. But we are going to end the episode. We are going to be playing this game against Dino Dresden. Where are they at in the table? Because I know in real life they're on top of the uh, Drifted Liga table in real life. They're in 13th place right now. Ourselves and Sarbrook can make up their own... Look at that. Look at that race. There's... There are three team. There are three points separating second place from seventh place. So that second spot is going to be highly contested. We only have the one draw and one loss, and the twelve wins so far. But we're going to go ahead. They're playing a four-three-three holding, and they're playing with the wing play tactical vision. Okay, let's look at Dynamo Dresden's kits. They've always had interesting kits. And this season is no different. Those away kits kind of remind me of uh, Newport County's away kits from FIFA 19. But we are going to go ahead. Partly clear skies at the Prison Stadium. Once again, this is going to be a nighttime game. We like playing a lot of games during the night, apparently. And look at all that green in the stands. That looks absolutely beautiful. And our net is green too. But we are back at the Parisian Stadium. We are taking on one of the best teams in real life. In Dynamo Dresden. Though in this particular save, they are struggling in the Dritte Liga. Okay, let's go ahead and kick off here. As Batman has kicks off to Bachama, to Sanchez, to Godovsky. Starting to learn this team a little bit. Okay, Bukhari, can you get at the end? No, Batman is... Holy heck. He absolutely turned on the Jets on that one. And it looks like they fixed the fact that they were able to celebrate in front of the fans if the fans were right there. That's always good to see. And that's his 16th tally of the season, it should be. This guy is an absolute beast. I really hope I can keep him as my starting striker for as long as I can. And even if he's not my starting striker, I do want him to be a big part of this team throughout the majority of this career mode because this guy's, this guy's been class. Look at that, he's not even giving up on the play. This guy is incredible. You can only rain so much praise on somebody before it gets annoying, but what all can I say about uh, Malik B Batman that I haven't already said? Once again, he dispossesses him. Buchama, do you want to go and score? Do you want to give Batman his hat trick? I'll give him his hat trick. Absolutely incredible stuff. Please, uh, I, you know, I think we're going to win, but please keep a clean sheet. Please. At least one clean... Of course not. Leivold ends up good, which... Golden Jenner, we got a trophy for that for... I don't know what the trophy is for, but... We got one.
But we are going to go ahead. Bite me, assistant manager. But we are going to end the episode here. And then the next time I see you guys, we are going to be doing the month of December. I'm going to sim the first here. And then we're going to be doing these three games against Ingolstadt, which we're going to play this game. We'll be playing this with our second team. Home match, we're going to be doing this with our first team. And then we'll be doing the second game with our second team here on the road against Erzgebirgeaua. I always have trouble saying that. But that is what we're going to call it. And of course, right after those three games, we're going to be doing our midseason stuff. And all that. So, hope you guys are looking forward to that. But thank you guys so much for watching this. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I will see you guys again next time.